everything seems to be turning into a classic console these days. These tiny, decently priced machines are a blast from the past and have been selling like hotcakes. The PS1 is the latest to be released in miniature form and comes with 20 pre-installed games, which, let's be honest, is nowhere near enough to represent the very best of the console. Personally, the PS1 is my favourite console of all time and I have a bit to say about the 20 titles that were chosen by Sony. Some I can agree with, others not so much. In this video, I'm going to discuss what I would have chosen to be the 20 PS1 classic titles. If it were up to me, there would probably be 20 RPGs, but I'm going to try to include a range of genres that will hopefully appeal to everyone. Now these aren't necessarily my 20 favourite games, they're just the ones that I think deserve to be there. Let me know what titles you would pick if it were up to you. Let's do this. I'll start with the games that I would stick with. FF7, Metal Gear Solid, Old World, Abe's Odyssey, Persona, Siphon Filter and Tekken 3, these were all great choices. I would personally upgrade Resident Evil with Resident Evil 2, especially considering that the remake is on its way. I also thought Twisted Metal 2 was the best in the series, so that should definitely be there instead of its prequel. The first major changes that I would make, which totally channels my inner RPG addiction, is the inclusion of FF8 and FF9. I consider 7, 8 and 9 the best in the series and there is no denying their popularity back in the day or even right now. FF8 steals the spot of Intelligent Cube. Now I realise that this was a highly regarded puzzle game that got some amazing reviews but there is no way I could put it in front of FF8 and 9. FF9 then takes the spot of Grand Theft Auto. GTA was awesome to play but I feel the huge leap forward for the series happened in the PS2 era. Sorry GTA, you don't make the cut. Another game that doesn't make the cut is Jumping Flash. In terms of platformers, there is no way I could let Spyro the Dragon miss out. That little purple dragon was a complete badass back in the day and although the PS4 remaster is probably the reason for its submission, I would feel like a complete jerk if I left Spyro out of the lineup. Now, I've never played Mr. Driller, nor do I ever want to play a game named Mr. Driller. This just seemed like an odd inclusion to the console. Mr. Driller, you do not make the cut. Tomb Raider, come on down. The fact that the PS1 classic was missing a Lara Croft title is just insanity. Perhaps something even more surprising is that the unofficial PS1 mascot was left out. Crash freaking Bandicoot. Come on now, just like Spyro, maybe the recent HD remaster had something to do with it. So a platformer for a platformer. Sorry Rayman, you're not as cool as Crash. Speaking of cool, I thought Cool Borders was cool, as the name suggests. However, it was nowhere near as cool as Tony Hawk. I played this series to death and it's easily one of my favourite games on the console. Skating around to Rage Against the Machine's Guerrilla Radio or Goldfinger's Superman was my childhood. So which one to pick? Tony Hawk 2 is my favourite and the one I played the most so it makes the cut. There has to be some sort of racing representation as there were a load of classics on the system. However, I don't believe that Ridge Racer 4 comes anywhere close to Gran Turismo 2 which was such a revolutionary series. I've never really been into racing games but Gran Turismo 2 is one that did steal some of my childhood away. As much as it kills me, I'm going to have to get rid of Destruction Derby. Yes, it was such an amazing experience going out of my way to destroy other cars, but this void can be filled with Twisted Metal 2. One title that I couldn't possibly imagine leaving out is Crash Team Racing. My mates and I had so much fun with this kart racer, I actually enjoyed it more than some of the early Mario Kart games. I really need to crank this classic out again. Now, I really hate to get rid of the last remaining puzzle game as I did enjoy it in the past, but I feel that there are more important titles out there. Super Puzzle Fighter, you're going to have to make way for Castlevania Symphony of the Night. This was my first and favourite Castlevania game and is one title I feel that is timeless. Battle Arena Toshinden is the next to go. We have Tekken 3, but I feel we also need a bit of Street Fighter representation. I've never been really good at fighting games, but I do know that spamming Chumley's Thunder Thighs is something I will never forget. So I'm going to throw in Street Fighter Alpha 2. The next to be thrown out is Rainbow Six. The reason being, this is where my RPG nerdism comes into play. There is no way I could ever leave Sukaran 2 off the list, being the best instalment from my favourite series of all time. And I never really got into Rainbow Six, so off you go. And finally, we have Wild Arms. It's only natural that I substitute an RPG with an RPG here, and there are way better games than Wild Arms in my opinion. So many to choose from. The Legend of Dragoon, Chrono Cross, Breath of Fire 4, nope, I cannot pass up Xenogears. This is another RPG that I think everyone should play, so it gets the final spot. 
And there we have it, the 20 games that I think should have been on the PS Classic. What do you think of this list? What changes would you make? Let me know in the comments below. This was Hellfire RPGs, thanks for watching. If you like this, hit like and sub for more RPG content. See you next time.